and I got some great tips for you. All right, so you really do need to stick around because these are six really important tips. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillier. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about one of the most important topics there is when it comes to fitness, and that is how to stick to your diet after the age of 50. So guys, when it comes to getting in shape and losing that belly fat and just feeling good and looking good, your nutrition is far more important than the exercise. Um, and for that reason, I have six tips today that I'm going to give you. Um, and your nutrition is way harder to get on point than your exercise routine. And the reason is because your nutrition is basically every waking moment of the day, right? You got to deal with, with your hunger from the time you wake up in the morning till the time you go to bed at the night. Uh, when it comes to your exercise routine, you can knock out your, your workout in you know, 30, 45 minutes and you're done. You don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. All right, so food and the cravings that come with it are far more important when it comes to being healthy and fit, especially as we get older. And I got some great tips for you. All right, so you really do need to stick around because these are six really important tips. But before I get to them, just real quick, you know, this YouTube channel is a free resource we give you guys. Well, we also have a free resource on Facebook. We have a fantastic group, guys. Just join. Click the link below this video. And trust me, you, you won't regret it. Okay, even if you're not into Facebook, even if you don't, you know, do the social media stuff, it's okay. Don't even use your own name. You don't have to post any pictures of yourself. Just join the group and just absorb all the good vibes and information that come from it. So it's 18,000 guys around the world. I'm the moderator, so I'm in there every single day answering questions. And I promise you will get a lot out of it. Just click and join. All right, so in addition to the Facebook group, do us a favor. We're really trying to get the word out about this YouTube channel, all right? And it will really help us. If you click the like button right below this video, the little thumbs up, if you share this video with some of your buddies that you know, all right, need to watch this, and then also subscribe to this channel because Gary and I are cranking out videos every week and you don't want to miss any. All right, so the first tip, guys, is probably one of the easiest. You got to stay hydrated. And that's probably one of the things that I don't do very well, especially in the summertime when I'm out sweating a lot, you know, and because when, when you're hydrated, when you're drinking plenty of water, you just naturally don't feel as hungry. It makes you feel kind of full, satiated. It also makes your body way more efficient at burning fat. All right. And so it, it's a weird deal. I've, I've talked to lots of guys that were obese or morbidly obese. Okay. And the first thing they started doing is drinking a gallon of water a day. Nothing else. No exercise. They didn't change their diet. Not, you know, didn't touch their nutrition. Just started forcing themselves to drink a lot of water every day. They lost 25 pounds. All right. So staying hydrated is real important. Water gets real boring to me. It's kind of hard for me to force myself to drink it. So this is my, this is my trick. It's carbonated water. It's flavored, but it doesn't have any sugar. Okay. Uh, it tastes great and it's inexpensive. So this is just the store brand. I get it all the time. And when I put a glass of this next to me while I'm on the computer working in the Facebook group, for instance, I will just, you know, I'll be typing away, looking at the computer. And I'll just be sipping that water, not paying attention to it before I know it. It's gone. And I, I wasn't thirsty, but I drank it all. So guys, then I go back and I fill it up again. And guess what? 30 minutes later, I'm typing away and the water's gone. That's what you all need to do. So if water just tastes too boring to you and you can't force yourself to drink enough of it, go buy some of this carbonated water with no added sugar, no calories. It's fantastic. All right, number two is a mentality that we need to get ourselves into. And that is you all have to realize that this is not a diet you're on. Okay, there's tons of diets out there. And the problem with diets and why they don't really work in the long term is because a diet has a beginning. You go on your diet and then you reach your goal. You've lost 25 pounds. That might have been what you were shooting for. And you go, boom, I'm there. And then you get off your diet. So the diet has a beginning and an end. This is not a diet. This is just the way you're going to eat for the rest of your life. Okay, so you're going to find 
a bunch of foods, healthy foods, and some of these tips and these tricks I'm going to show you today. And this is just how you're going to live your life. This is it from now on. All right. So there is no end point. The end point is when you die. Okay. So even if you reach your goal, let's say you wanted to lose 35 pounds and you, and you reach that goal, you've lost 35 pounds. You can't get off this new healthy nutritional mentality. You just got to stick with it forever because as soon as you get off of it, you'll revert back. That is key guys. All right. Number three concerns protein. So guys, every time you eat a meal, I want you to look at your plate and think how much protein is there in this meal. Um, and this video is not about all the different sources of protein. You guys, there's, there's lots of other videos on this channel that give you great ideas for protein, but, but, but it's almost impossible to get too much protein in a meal. Okay. Protein is fantastic. It really fills you up. It, it makes you feel satiated. Protein is also the hardest to digest of the macro. So you got protein, carbs, and fat. Okay. And so your body actually uses energy. It actually burns calories in the process of digesting that protein. So it's, 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 it's also critical that you get protein in your, in your meals, because that's what your body uses to repair your damaged muscle fibers when you're working out. And that's, that's how your muscles grow and repair and get bigger and stronger over time. And if you don't have enough protein, you're not getting a hundred percent of the potential out of your workouts. So you might be busting your butt, all right, and your workouts, but you might only be getting 50% of the potential results because you're not getting enough protein in your daily diet. All right. The fourth one is really fun and simple. You're in YouTube. You're on our YouTube channel right now. Just use the search feature right there in the upper right hand corner of the screen. It looks like a little magnifying glass. Okay. So click on it and type in the word nutrition. Hit enter. Boom. You're going to probably get two dozen different videos right here on this YouTube channel. All right that Gary and I have created that discuss nutrition. All right. Some of them are going to be very similar and semi redundant, but a lot of them are going to be completely different. All right. And you don't have to watch every one, but kind of skim through and you might find one that particularly interests you. All right. Watch it. We got tons of really good detailed information in our videos. I actually take you to the grocery store with me <laughs> in some of my videos and I show you exactly you know, what I'm buying and I, I shoot videos of it. So, so don't rely on this one video for your nutritional information. Type in nutrition, use the search feature, and then skim through tons of different videos that Gary and I have created because we, I mean, we've got probably several hours worth of information on great ideas for foods that you should eat, and foods that you should avoid. All right, number five brings me to boom, this right here, all this food kind of laying on my counter. Guys, you need to have healthy, high protein snacks just laying around because you're going to get the munchies. I do too all the time. All right. So when you get hungry, you need to have something healthy that you can just pop in your mouth and make that hunger go away. Basically, otherwise you're just constantly fighting you know, this, these hunger pains, and that's just a pain in the butt. Nobody wants to do that. And so here are some great ideas. And these are all kind of high protein ideas. So beef jerky. All right. There's almost no carbs and no fat in here. It's, it's almost a hundred percent protein, um, a protein bars. All right. Just make sure they don't have a lot of added sugar. Um, Greek yogurt. I get the light, light Greek yogurt. Light means it has less, less sugar. Okay. Uh, any deli meat, ham, turkey, Roast beef, chicken, it's all fantastic for you. And all of it is almost 100% protein, very few carbs, very little fat. Hard boiled eggs, all right? So eggs don't have to be made fresh and scrambled or fried in the morning. You could just take a whole, you know, dozen eggs here, put them in boiling water, and then save them in your refrigerator as hard boiled eggs and just pop them in your mouth anytime you get hungry. And then finally, you know, this whey protein powder, you know, mix some of that. Um, if you're really counting your calories, you would mix it with water. And if you're doing pretty good, you can mix it with some milk and it tastes fantastic. So you need to have healthy, high protein snacks laying around. 
And guess what? Finally, the last tip, number six. <laughs> Guys, you just can't bring it in the house. Um, you know, I think I have pretty good um, self-discipline when it comes to avoiding, you know, crummy food and, and eating healthy food. But, but even I cannot resist unhealthy food if it's just laying around in my house. All right. So basically, I just don't buy it. All right. This is what happens, though. I might have a party, have some friends over, and they'll bring stuff. They'll bring big, giant sacks of potato chips, okay, or potato salad or pasta salad or something like that, or brownies or cookies, blah, 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 on and on and on. And then, you know, that's fine. I'll have some of it with dinner, with the party. You don't have to be perfect all the time with your nutrition. But then they leave, and they leave all that extra food laying around, all those extra potato chips and and the extra queso and just on and on and on, guys. And if if I don't throw it out immediately, if I just kind of, you know, leave it sitting here, I'll, I'll eat it. And I won't eat it right away, but two or three days from now, I'm like, God dang it, you know, I'm kind of out of my snacks. Oh, look, there's some queso and some chips that are left over from the party. Boom. And before I know it, I got a big bowl of queso sitting on my stomach in front of the TV with a big bag all right, of corn chips, and I'm just dipping away until it's gone. All right, you know, I probably ate 800 calories worth of crap. So I feel guilty throwing out perfectly good food just because it's unhealthy. But you need to be able to do that. Throw it in the trash, okay, if it's leftover food. And then more importantly, just don't bring it in the house to begin with because, you know, it's your house. And I realize some of you guys are going to have kids or grandkids or a wife that want to bring, you know, unhealthy food in. You know, have a, have a sit down, come to Jesus meeting with them. Tell them you need their help. Because if they're constantly bringing in ice cream and things like that, even though you avoid it most of the time, it's still sitting there tempting you. All right. And that's almost impossible to avoid. All right, guys, six great tips on how to stick to your diet after 50. And remember, it's not a diet. It's just a new, healthy way of eating that you're going to do for the rest of your life. But the most important thing is you got to stick with it and never give up on yourself.